First grade, what's going on? Mr. Hunter here. I have a history book. That means, oh, you can see it better that way. Uh, we're going to be on page 29, and we're going to start there. We're going to be talking about a man by the name of Abraham Lincoln. Who remembers him? Do you guys remember him? Yeah, that's why we're doing a review. Um, great, great, great history um, lesson we got in the store for you guys today. So let's get ready. Let's start on page 29. I'm going to put some little clips in there after the fact about everything. All right, so let's take a look right now. Let's look at um, page 29. First of all, our first vocabulary word at the top, if you guys see, is a bra ham Lincoln. I know you guys know how to say it, but just paying close attention to um, uh, how it's spelled out there. And then February. February. Where are my February birthdays at? Oh, they're, they're all in second grade. Well, my first grade, guys, you guys know how much I, I celebrate my birthday, right? You guys sing happy birthday to me. Jeremiah, Eliana, Dylan, you don't remember that? I can send you a video. I can remind you. Anyway, February, great month, great month. And then everybody say Kentucky, Kentucky. Kentucky is one of the states that we're going to talk about today. And it's an important state because it's actually where Abraham Lincoln was born. All right, so let's get ready to dive in. I'm going to be reading some notes from my book as well. So you guys follow along with the reading and then pay attention to what I'm talking about um, as we move forward. All right, so Abraham Lincoln. Each February, we celebrate Abraham Lincoln's birthday. He was born in a one-room log cabin in Kentucky in the year 1809. 1809. Wow. Long, long time ago. This was 77 years after George Washington was born. Many changes had taken place since George Washington had lived. The United States had grown from 13 states to 17 by the time that Abe was born. All right, here's some of the notes that I have for you guys. Abraham Lincoln's day is actually around President's Day. It's on the same day, all right? And that's why we had President's Day. George Washington's birthday, guess what? He was just like Abraham Lincoln and like Mr. Hunter. His birthday was in February. So Abraham Lincoln was on February, um, February 12th. George Washington was February 22nd. That's one day after uh, Naomi's in our class. And then uh, my day, or one day after Aiden Solomon's, I'm sorry, birthday. And my birthday is the 25th, and then Naomi's is the 28th. So we have all these birthdays. It seems like great people were born in February. All right. Now, our country, we celebrate both of these presidents. We don't just celebrate George Washington. We don't just celebrate Abraham Lincoln. We celebrate for President's Day. And it's all of the president's birthdays. So every single president, going all the way up even until now. But we start, obviously, back with George Washington, uh, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, George Bush, all of these presidents, we celebrate all of their birthdays on the same day. And then President's Day, when is it? Well, it's not an actual date, but every year in February, the third month of that month is President's Day. So next year, whatever day the third uh, Monday is, the third Monday means there's first week, second week, third week, whatever Monday that is, that's the day we have President's Day. All right, now, question for you. If you were listening, where was Abraham Lincoln born? He was born in Kentucky. Okay, okay, you guys get it pretty good, pretty good. Now, when he was little, did he have to um, did he have to go to school? It's a question I'm asking you because it's kind of a trick question, guys. When Abraham Lincoln was young, he couldn't even go to school. It wasn't that he there wasn't a school by, but he had to do a lot of work at home to help his family, and he had to work at his church. So Abraham Lincoln didn't even really go to elementary school like you and I. I uh, did, and like you guys are in right now. Isn't that crazy? And he still became president. So guess what? There's hope for you. There's hope for you. And then, simple question, we just went over it. What, what day of the week do we celebrate President's Day? What day of the week do we celebrate President's Day? It is the third Monday in February, just once a year? Yeah, once a year. Every year? Every year. Every year we have President's Day, President's Day. All right, and now I have another question just for you. Does a person have to be rich to be president? Do they have to be rich to be an American? Do they have to be rich to live in a big house? That's for you, serious question. Do you have to be rich to be an American? Are there some Americans who are rich? Yeah, but do you have to be rich? I see people shaking their heads. I see somebody saying no. You guys are right. Uh, no, you don't, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to have a big house. You don't have to do any of the things to be American. You don't have to do any of, the things, of those things to love your country. You can love America. You can love where you live. Um, and you don't have to be any of those things. Now, 
we don't make fun of people who have less. And just if we have less, we hope that people will help us out or that God will bless us and we'll, we'll grow. But we don't put anybody down just because of their, their money or their skin or how they look or anything like that. All right, let's turn the page. Let's turn the page. All right, more Abraham Lincoln talk, more Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, well, he had to stay at home to help his mom and do work at the house and do work at the church because he was born into a poor family. He went to school very little because he had to stay home and help with the work, but that didn't stop him from learning. He read every book he could. So, guys, are there any excuses? No. Did Abraham Lincoln make excuses? No. Should you make excuses? Not at all. You literally have no excuse. Abraham Lincoln didn't get to go to school, but he still did everything he could to learn. He read books. He, he read every book he could. He was willing to walk for miles just to get a book to read. Guys, what are you doing that's helping you? Are you guys reading books on your own? Or do you have to be told what to do? Do you want to just play with toys all day? Or do you do something to learn and, and see what's interesting? I'm trying to help you guys build good habits. Everybody say habit. Habits. Build good habits. Believe it or not, if you don't start good habits now, Eliana, good habits now, Dylan, good habits now, good habits now, Sam, good habits now, Jeremiah, all of you, guys, all of you, it starts now. You have to make good habits, right? You guys clean up your toys when you finish playing with them, right? You brush your teeth in the morning, right? Imagine if you guys were born and you never brush your teeth. Is that good? What would happen to your teeth? Would they look as nice as mine? No? No, they would not. You have to take care of things, and it starts when you're young. If my parents didn't teach me how to brush my teeth when I was younger, I wouldn't be doing them properly now, and I wouldn't have a good smile, good teeth, healthy gums, anything. So habits, read good books. Don't just play video games all day. Your parents are trying to help you. They won't want you to eat junk food. They help you eat vegetables. They do all types of stuff because they're trying to help you set good habits. All right, that's all I was just talking about right there. All right, so the book that Abraham Lincoln read the most, it was his favorite book of all time, was the Bible. You guys have a favorite book? I already know one of you guys' favorite book. I know Sam loves Dogman, but do you guys have a favorite book? If not, think about trying to get a favorite book and try to see if you like reading it. Abraham Lincoln remembered all the verses and many different ones, verses that he read in the Bible, and he hid them. He didn't hide them in his bag. He didn't hide them in his pillow. He hid them in his heart. He told these verses to other people. That is amazing. Abraham Lincoln shared the word with other people, and that's what we should be doing. We should hide the word in our hearts so we can share it with other people. There's a Bible verse called once or says one Psalm 119 chapter 11 Psalm 119 verse 11 it says thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God it pretty much is saying the Bible I know the Bible so well I know the Bible so well that I'm going to read it so much that I know it if you ask me something about it I'm going to know what it says in the Bible and guess what when I know what's in the Bible I won't do wrong things. That's all at once. When you know what's the right to do in the Bible, you won't do wrong things. So thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. I know this is history lesson, but I was about to start preaching there. You guys wanna, you guys wanna pass the offering? No? Should I keep reading? Okay, all right. So thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. Do you think the Bible can help you become a great American? Do you think the Bible can help you become a great American? It can help you become a great person. It can help anybody. So yes, that answer is yes. And then God's word, God's word will always help you do what is right. Here are some more verses in Proverbs I'm going to read to you. A wise man will hear and will increase his learning. So everybody point to their ears. Everybody point to their ears. It says a wise man will hear and increase their learning. When you listen, you get smarter. Just like that. That's from Proverbs 1 and 5. Next Bible verse. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Proverbs 1, 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Another one, a wise son maketh a glad father. Proverbs 10 and 1. When you do what you're supposed to do, when you do things right, your parents are going to be happy. Oh, man, Jeremiah, Sam, Dylan, when you guys do what you're supposed to do, your parents are happy, especially your father. Your father say, hey, that's my son right there. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. I know he, he does it just like this, and his voice gets extra deep, and he says, that's my guy right there. That's Sam. That's Sam. That's Jeremiah. That's my guy. Dylan, that's my guy. Eliana, it said a wise son. But guess what? You can be a wise daughter, too. Your dad may not punch his chest and say, Eliana, but he's going to be happy. He's going to smile. He's going to be really happy. All right? Next verse. It says, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. 
but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Ooh, that sounds like a Bible verse we did, right? It's in the Bible. It talks about being wise. And then it says, Proverbs 14, 9, fools mock at sin. So people that don't want to do right, they make fun of good people. They make fun of you doing right, but they're not smart. The Bible calls them fools. And then here's another one, Proverbs 15 and 1, a soft answer turneth away wrath. When someone is angry, you don't get angry back at them and start yelling back at them. You say, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And you keep it moving. You guys don't have many arguments right now here in first grade, but when you get older, sometimes things happen and you have to always remember, God, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make them upset. And if you communicate it like that, you know what? Sometimes, usually God will, God will step in and it won't ever have to escalate to a fight. All right. Um, there's another one. I said, whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. If you trust in God, will you be happy? Yes, you will. Proverbs 16 and 20. And then another one, the last one. A man that hath friends must be friendly. So if you have friends, you got to be friendly. If you don't have friends, means you need to be a little bit more friendly or you're not as friendly as you should be. And that's Proverbs 18, 24. Read the whole book of Proverbs. Proverbs is amazing. All right. Our last page we're going to look at is page 31. All right. Let's read the vocabulary. The word at the top is Indiana. Everybody say Indiana. Everybody say Illinois. Everybody say lawyer. I had to get some water. And the last word is honest. Everybody say honest. Honest, we know what that means. It means telling the truth. All right. Lincoln's family, Abraham Lincoln's family, moved to Indiana in 1816. And then they moved to Illinois in 1830. By this time, there were 24 states in our country. So we had grown from, what, 17 all the way to 24 by the time Abraham Lincoln lived in um, Illinois. Abe's first job, that was his nickname, Abe's first job was working in a little store. He was so honest that people called him Honest Abe. Does anybody call you Honest Sam? Honest Eliana? Honest Dylan? Honest Jeremiah? If not, maybe that's something you could work on. So they just know, oh, he's honest. All right. They, they called him Honest Abe. And it is, a great, it is a great thing to be known for your honesty. People can trust you when you're honest. Later on, by studying hard on his own, Abraham Lincoln, he became a lawyer. And pe people liked him very much. In 1860, so this is almost 30 years later, Abraham Lincoln was elected president of the United States. By this time, there were 33 stars on our flag and one star for each of the 33 states, all right? Abraham Lincoln, he became a famous lawyer in Illinois. He was a good speaker. Everybody say good speaker. Yes, he served one term in Congress and that's where the laws are made for the country and that's in Washington, D.C. And then he became the 16th president of the United States, all right? There was a lot, lot that Abraham Lincoln did in a short amount of time. And guess what, you guys, you can do that too. All right. Now I have a question. What was, what was Abraham Lincoln's nickname? What was his nickname? I'll give you a hint. He was honest. They called him honest Abe. All right. All right. Now, why did he receive, why did he receive that nickname? Because he was honest. He told the truth. He didn't lie. He was very straightforward and people trusted him. And then when did he become president? When did he become president? I just said it, it was a year Mm, look back at the reading if you don't know. It's in the last paragraph. You see that number? 1860. It's a long time ago. It's over 140 years ago. All right? Long, long. Actually, that's 240 years. Long time ago. I'm not doing math right now. This is history. <laughs> um, guys, amazing, amazing, amazing. A um, lot of history there we learned today about Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to put a video in there in YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but thank you for paying attention. Thank you for following along. And I'll See you tomorrow.